Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Best Friends Who are back, back from, from Dubai. Dubai. Yeah, I'm back from Dubai. Best Having a really good time. Dubai. It just flew by because I'm in Dubai. And we spend loads of money, but we don't even know what on, because we came back with nothing. I came back with one thing, and it's this ring, and I want to put it up Isabella's ass. But I don't do butt stuff, but James misses it, because he used to eat butthole. Yes, I used to eat ass. What about it? I'm a man, I eat ass. And you said it tasted sweet, and you missed the taste, but I said, I hey. Just eat some chocolate. Do you know what? I don't miss the taste of ass. You said, mmm, it tastes sweet. So I said, eat a fucking chocolate bar then if you, yeah, but if you like Did I say things. I miss it? No, it, mmm, ass. That well, looks like you miss it to me. No, missing it, but mmm, ass. <laughs> I went, mmm, ass. Mm. I don't know. I, I just I feel like for the man out there, the women out there who haven't eaten ass, it, eat ass. I said to James, you eat butthole. He goes, no, I don't. I eat ass. I said, butthole. He went, no, ass. I but eat we're, ass. We're not getting monetized on YouTube ever. We never do, by but the way. But can we just deep that, that you're talking about eating a woman's bum while you have a girlfriend? Like, that's very rude. I was speaking about if I could eat someone's ass, it'd be Margot Robbie's ass. And that's, just, that's not just a woman, that's a god. Yeah, at the coffee shop today. A nice, wholesome coffee day. Sun was out, bank holiday Monday. What was the topic of discussion we were having? If James could eat Margot Robbie's arsehole. Yeah, and you said that you would allow me to. I did, and then I said, wait, this is actually making me upset because you were getting really into it. Sorry, what are you covered in? Harry Styles merch. Margot Robbie's not even behind me. Yeah, but that's because you couldn't find a uh, poster. No, it's true. She doesn't have they don't posters. make a lot of Margot Robbie posters. And they're like very they expensive. Posters. They're very yeah. expensive. Not many people want to buy a Margot Robbie poster. They just want to buy her. They just want to pay for her. The reason why we're talking about Margot Robbie is because for the first time I watched Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. And, and that was a banging film. I watched it many a time and I only watch it for one reason. That's rude. Margot. Come on. It was a good film. You watched Dunkirk for who? Harry. Yeah. And you watched I it, My Policeman for who? Harry. Yeah. But I would have watched it anyway. Cause and it was you watched Don't Worry Biden. Darling for who? Florence Pugh. Yeah, bullshit. I think she's a great actress. She's a great actually. actress. Yeah. But you wanted to see Harry eat her puss. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I get why all the 14 year old boys are obsessed with Margot Robbie now that I've watched the film. It makes sense because you do see a lot of Poonani in that. One bit of Poonani. Anyway, can we... We, we just multiple, spoke about, I saw multiple Poonan. Okay, we just had five minutes talking about ass and Poonani. <laughs> we need to move, bro, because this is going to be a complete sexual podcast. Anyway, guys, this wasn't meant to... This wasn't the turn we were trying to take on this episode. We were no, actually it was trying supposed to be, to be a very nice, wholesome episode today. But yeah. no, we always have to argue and it always has to be about sex. <sighs> what does that say about us? I was sex deprived and we have bad communication skills. Well, sorry about it. You should be. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about ass. I said I'll put a finger up your bum. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I did start it and for that I apologise. Good. Don't say good because that makes me feel bad. Sorry. So, wait, say, why am that, I saying sorry? No, just say it's okay. That was ma- manipulation. No, it was, <laughs> it, manip- it was like, when I, I don't want to say I'm sorry to go. Good. Oh no, fuck, I take that back yeah. then, prick. Be thankful I said sorry. <laughs> Why should I be thankful that you're sorry? No, but you should be appreciative, because I don't have to say sorry. I owned up to my mistake. Okay, I forgive you. Is that what you want to no, hear? No, no. Let's, let's start it back a little it's bit. It's okay? Is that what you want to hear? No, like, no, not, it's okay. Just be like, thank you. Do you okay, know what I mean? Fine. Rather than me going, I'm sorry, good. <laughs> nah. Nah, it's not. Good boy. Yeah, fuck off. If you said sorry to if you said sorry to me, I'd be like, it's okay, don't worry. Thank you. Thank you for your apology. That's what I want to hear. So I'm sorry. Thank you for your apology. You're very welcome, Isabel. Fucking bitch. Don't start this shit. Anyway, so guys, we're back from Dubai. Sad times, but a lot has happened on that trip, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, it did. as you guys know, on the last episode, we said we wanted to meet Mr. Superwow. Wow. And you're never going to guess what happened. We bloody met the fucker, didn't we? We bloody met him and he bloody served us baklava. 
Go Baklava. Baklava. Is it Baklava? Oh, he was pronouncing it differently. Baklava. That's the one. Yeah. No, he's great. He was a really nice bloke. So we get Proper to Zuzu. Nice. Well, it was like 10 o'clock when we got there. And before we arrived, we weren't actually going to go out because James didn't want to go to dinner with me. No, um, no, no. I just came back from a near death experience. I was in the suit. I was in. It's in the world's biggest water park. My fucking dinghy flipped. I got taken by the current. I've scratched my knuckles. I scratched my shoulder. And what else did I get? I got extreme chafe to the point where I couldn't <laughs> walk. I couldn't fucking walk. And I went. Do you know what? I would love to go for a meal out of you, but I can't walk because we're we're walking all day tomorrow. Yeah, but your mum wrapped it up for you. She did. Bless her soul. Yeah. It's your job. It, uh, yeah, I did finish the job off, didn't I? <laughs> I don't remember that, but that's uh, also weird. You took Let's me to the ba- you took me to the bathroom, and I had to put whatever that wrap was, plastic. Yeah, a skin like texture on cling my film by chain. your fucking dick. Yeah, because my mum couldn't do it. <laughs> yes, don't Duh. say I didn't help you because I did. Yeah, but not you didn't want to. Why well, bad, you were fucking bad, bad. near crying over chafe? It Women get cold. chafe every single day, mate. Yappa, we know the yappa, struggle. Yappa. We know the struggle. Yappa, yappa, yappa. I'm not kidding you. Every five minutes, Jim's going, look at my chafe. It really hurts. I'm it like, was blistering. I know. I have to buy a talcum powder on the daily oh, and put it on my Your chafe is a little bit of rubber. Because I look after it. But you don't know. Do you have leg hair by you your puss? Eh? Leg hair here. Do you have leg, long leg hair here? <laughs> if I don't shave, yeah. yeah but do you? Uh, not no, at that moment. Don't. It's not. I chafe have... isn't about leg hair, mate. It, no, that's the thing. Normal rubbing. Yeah, that's bad. But my hair was getting pulled off. I've got patches of no hair here. Because I've got thick thighs. Okay? So I just want to say, I, I was in extreme pain. And I didn't want to walk around. I didn't want to ruin the mood. But you right. know what? I sucked it up and I said, yeah, let's go to Zuzu. Let's try and meet that man. Yeah. So, you know, I did want to go for dinner for you, but I didn't want to be in pain. So anyway, we got there. And I said, James, I don't know if he's going to be here now. Like, it is quite late at night, you know. But let's just see. Let's just go for the meal anyway. So we get there and we sit down. Literally, I kid you not, as soon as we sit down, who walks past us? Super wow. Because the guys next to us, a lovely couple, they got the gold baklava. And I think that's how, that's why we got the gold baklava, because we realised, hmm, maybe that's what you have to order to get him to come out. Because people, because I filmed it and I put it on TikTok and people were like, God, how much money did they spend to um, get that then? What a waste of money. But like, you don't pay for him to come out. You just buy something. You literally spent menu. 20 quid. Yeah. Like, but they actually, they got the original baklava. No, they didn't. Yeah, yeah, they did. But they asked to have that guy come out. Like, he came out for a split second, just served it, oh, chopped it up. So then when we that. ordered it, it came in a golden briefcase. Oh, that right. Smoked, that got guy you, came you. out and then he started doing that spinny shit. He didn't do that to anyone else because we paid for the experience. Oh, they just asked the, gold, the man the to come out. Experience. Yeah. And you know what? I felt I didn't feel bad doing it. You know, it's there. It's a service. It was provided and the service was 10 10. <laughs> People were like, why would anyone like want that? But the thing is, me and James have been seeing Super Wow on our for you page time and time again, and it was just such an iconic thing that we didn't want to miss on our trip to Dubai. So yeah, we did it, and it was a memory I'm never gonna forget. And also, if we went there and he wasn't there, that's fine. Yeah, the food was great, and it wasn't overly expensive. It's actually the cheapest thing we ate in Dubai entirely. Yeah, literally. So it cost seventy quid for two people to have a starter, main, and a dessert, and a few drinks. Mm-hmm. Really cheap in Dubai, right on JBR Beach, right yeah, by the stunning. beach, the big fucking wheel. It was stunning. With the man included. And the dessert was 10 10. It was crap. It was really. Not, I would eat it again. I would. Can we go back? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> also, how does it feel that he has more followers on TikTok too? No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He has 800,000. Oh, do you know what? That's fucking. He's going to fall off soon. He'll <laughs> fucking fall off. He's got no longevity in that shit. He's going to get fucking bored. How many times can a man feed a guy back lava? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he, you know, he's, he's putting on good views. I would for the publicity. No, I know, but like, how long is what's he gonna start doing? Start mukbangs afterwards? Like, where's yeah, it gonna go? I don't know. He's gonna be like a salt bay, huge, and then what? Where is he now? Where is salt bay? Exactly. He got cancelled, didn't he? Why? Oh, I can't remember what he did. He did something weird. Oh, uh-huh. the World Cup. He 
touched a trophy of Messi's trophy or World Cup trophy, you're not supposed to or something. Well, there you go then. Maybe he would still be salt bay and meat if he didn't do that. He does salt bay meat, but it's just he wants to pay 200 quid for a fucking golden Yeah, see, that's steak. overpriced. Whereas Baklava... Yeah, but I'm talking cheap. TikTok views. Yeah. I can... I'm versatile, mate. And if any brands are listening, I'm funny. I'm good looking. I've got style. I've got a girlfriend we can monetize. I have a podcast you can monetize. You can monetize me. So that's my pitch. Anyone listening out there should probably not. Yeah, because you talk about eating ass. You talk about eating ass. You I just do the job. First. I do the job at hand. Ass is in my face. I fucking eat it. Oh my God. If an ass is in my face and it's clean, I'll eat the ass. I wouldn't seek ass. Ass comes to me. <laughs> ass in my face. What am I supposed to do? Do a raspberry. Ugh, that's worse. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't blow raspberries in someone's art. <laughs> you are obsessed with bum bum. It's you, it's you. You're obsessed with bum bum. I'm, I'm comfortable with bum. You don't like bum. I don't mind bum. You don't like butt stuff. I slap your bum. Without my consent. <laughs> I'm not into it's that. It's just so big and juicy. Like, it really feel... jiggles. It recoils. I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> with the public knowing this knowledge. It's bigger than mine. Mm, maybe. That was gross. <laughs> Did you just see that? <clears throat> maybe. <laughs> I got a bigger bum than James. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, guess what comes out your ass? Nothing. Huh? Nothing comes out your ass. <laughs> what does that mean? Because <laughs> man's constipated all the so time. So you're saying my ass is so big because it's filled with shit? <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> No, I'm just I'm trying to get onto the next section. <laughs> you wrote oh, ne- laxatives on the board, so I thought it'd be funny to say nothing comes out your ass because anyway, you needed laxatives. But right, yes, on the Dubai trip, I took laxatives for the first time, and that was an experience. I never took them before because I thought it meant you would get like crazy diarrhea and you wouldn't be able to stop. However, never had that. Took some laxatives, had a huge solid. <laughs> Solid one. Sorry, just realised that's very like TMI, and maybe I tried to stop myself there. But um, yeah, everything's solid and normal. Good, I'm glad. Uh, no diarrhea, but yeah, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but every time I get off a flight, I am constipated, and I can eat and eat and eat and eat, and nothing will come out. So it did result into me having to have laxatives. However, I only go- I only went to the toilet once. That whole trip. That's crazy. And I was taking laxatives. Do you know what, though? Isabella really used to up. take fucking Imodium because she thought Imodium was a laxative. So she was constipated, thought, hmm, I'm going to pop a pilly, let me pop Imodium. Still couldn't shit for some yeah. crazy reason and was annoyed that Imodium wasn't working. Yeah, it was. It was fucking working because you still <laughs> weren't shitting, bro. Yeah, I thought it was like a settle the stomach sort of thing. Like Renny? Yes. And a Gaviscon. Yeah. Gaviscons Bro, are weird. Gaviscon, when they I watched hurt. that. Yeah, I watched that advert, man. Uh-huh. I'm so confused how it works. No, same. Like, it's going down the ch- like the tube or something, isn't it? That man, and he's got, like, f- water. And he's yeah, going, he's sh- like, sh- like what does that mean? He's sealing your heartburn because your belly's on fire. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I've never had an on fire belly before. <laughs> <laughs> what do you well, it's not common for your belly to be on fire. No, but that feeling of like, Whoa, I've got a fire belly right now. Like I, I th- never, I, I never think, really I think get it's that called feeling. heartburn. But that's in the heart. Like, why is it going to yeah, the stomach? Yeah, the heart, right up here. Yeah, that's not where your heart is. Where's your heart? Your heart's here. No, it fucking <laughs> isn't. Heart. Your heart's on your left side. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but not here. Oh, I thought it was here. It's not here. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a common fucking thing where your heart's where here. Where the fuck's my do you heart? Know what, do you know your heart shape isn't this either? No, it's um something else, isn't it? Like this. Yeah. Looks ugly, like ugly. My heart's fucking keeping you alive, bro. Yeah, no, thank you, heart. Well, not anymore. Fucking it's going to start failing now. <sighs> Don't say that. Fucking hell. <laughs> you always love to just wish me the worst things, don't I you? I wish you the best. Do you I now? I wish you the best. I wish you the very best. 
I wish you the best of the best for the best. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to say what celebrity we saw in Dubai? Celebrity. <laughs> celebrity. Sorry. Come on, let's not be mean. I'm not mean. You didn't know who he fucking was. Yeah, but I did. I used to have a crush on him when I was younger. Yeah, I had to tell you. I go, is this guy? You went who? Yeah, because I thought you meant... Well, basically, the boy... So... Before you spoil it, let me okay. set the fucking scene, mate. We're okay, trying to sorry. get clips out of this. We're trying to make some money. <laughs> so, let me set the scene. Beautiful day in Dubai. Oh, sun shining. We're at a beach club. Fucking music. Mm-hmm. It's going off. I'm feeling good. But I've danced too hard. I've danced too hard. While I lie on the sunbed. I'm lying on the sunbed. I try to click my neck. And as I do that, I see a man that I recognise. I've seen this bloke before. Mm-hmm. I've seen him at an event. And I've spoken to this man before. But what is man's name? So I was looking at him, but I don't want to give him the satisfaction that I fucking knew him. Not that I hate the guy, you know what I mean? But I was just like, hmm. 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 You don't want to seem like a fan. Yeah, I was just pondering in my head. Mm-hmm. Hmm, who can this man be? Then it dawned on me. It's the lead singer from Union J. No, it didn't dawn on you. It dawned on me. It dawned on me. You had to ask me. I you thought, said, who is that man? And I go, who? And you go, don't look. And I'm like, prove I've got to look to no, know I thought he was about. from what's that other, other band? You thought he's from the Vamps. No, the Vamps. I know. They're Five from seconds Lem- of summer no! or some shit. The Vamps are from Leamington. I know them. I've seen them all the time. Oh, really? Walking around the fucking Leamington Mall. I know. Them. Right. <laughs> It's not the fan. What's the other one? Oh, time low, 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 wanted. low. Yeah, I thought it was the wanted. Yeah, nah. The wanted are like pretty up there. The wanted are the the man that's dating that girl from EastEnders, Maisie. Yeah. And he's like 30 and she's like 21. Oh, shit. I fucking know. I made that up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, some sort of age gap. Yes, we saw the guy from Uni and Jay. At first, I thought it was George Shelley because he used to be my first crush. That, from that man group. was not George Shelley. I know that, but he was in the band that George Shelley was in. Yeah, what's, what's his name? Uh, Jordan? Jordan. Who's Jordan again? <laughs> I don't know. Jordan? I think it's Jordan. It's not Jordan. It's not yeah. Jordan. It's George. No, George. George. No, no, it's not George. What, what is the man's name? I'll Jordan. find out for you. You think it's Jordan? I bet money on it that it's Jordan. You, I can't be Jordan. I'm sorry, he does not look like a Jordan at at all. His name is Josh. Oh, I was close. Josh Cuthbert. Ooh, that's an ugly name. Man's going to be listening to this. Man is not going to be listening to this. Man is still in Dubai, having his, living his best life. He's actually back in London, thank you very much. And tomorrow, he'll officially be a dad. Oh! For a cat. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, his girlfriend didn't look preggers, so... No. Oh my God, imagine if we caught him in the act. Having sex? No, like, cheating. Oh. <laughs> like, he went to Dubai. And got, uh, got a new girl. Yeah. But we, he didn't, by well, the way. his wife is at home pregnant. Yeah, well, let's not... Now he's about to be a dad. Well, if that happened cats. then, I would sell it to the tabloids, wouldn't I? And I'd make some fucking bit of money from it. Yeah, uh, that would be good. It would be good, because then I can pay for my clothes. Hmm. That's... Man's got to do what man's got to do. What are you fucking? You fucking said it. You started this. You said, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it with you. Anyway, Dubai, Dushmai. Enough talk about that. Let's talk about where James is going next week. Uh, maybe on a bloody big fat tour. Maybe just fucking touring the fucking world, being a rock star. Tour life. Yeah, man. I'm. I'm. You know what? Maybe I'm going to Scandinavia. Um, fucking Denmark. Well, that's the same place, and fucking other places like Norway. Such that's Scandinavia. Is Scandi- <laughs> what Scandinavia? The fucking places up there, innit? it. So it's like a, an area of of Europe. I, I, I don't know. Actually, you're gonna make me like a, like an idiot. When someone goes, you're in Scandinavia. I'm like, where's like that? Like Scandinavia is like multiple places. Yeah, I think Scandinavia is like the Denmark, Norway, Sweden. That's Scandinavia. And I'm going to all bloody free, mate. And I'm kind of jealous because there's going to be Scandi boys. Scandi girls all up in my tour bus. All up in my fucking grill. Fucking get away from me. I've got a fucking girlfriend. Bam. No, don't kiss me. Don't put your ass in my face. Ang, 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 ang. <laughs> that was the biggest, most disgusting ick that has ever been unlocked. And I don't think I'm going to be able to unsee that. 
just like how James could never look at me if I got a mohawk. Because when we were at Nando's today, I said to him, <laughs> just like, we do like theoretical questions, like, what would happen if? And I said to James, what would happen if I came home one day with a mohawk? You said you would break up with me there and then because you wouldn't be able to unsee it. That's how I feel about what you just did right then. I don't think I'm ever going to be yeah. able to unsee that. And I don't know how I'm going to have to have six of you ever again. Fair enough. And I apologise for my eating ass actions. Uh, um, should I trust you going on tour? Yes, you, no, look, you know me. Keep it PG, the D O double G, James Dog. I'm I'm cool. I'm calm and collective. No girl will be looking my way. You know that. Yeah. No, I'm not looking any girl way either. I'm not even on tour for me. Let me clear this up. I'm going on tour because my best mate, Sammy Tompkins, is on tour supporting Kid Leroy. Crazy. And he's traveling all over Europe, singing before Kid Leroy comes on stage, and that is fucking massive. And if you know Sam Tompkins, he deserves it. And basically, one of the cameramen um, lost his passport. And then I got the call up saying, yo, could you be a little backup? Could you help? We'd love for you to come on tour. I went, mate, fucking come on. Say no more. Say no more. I'm fucking packing. I'm going. So I wasn't planning to go on this tour. But two days ago, I got the call up. And I said, I'll do it, mate. So, yeah, we're going to Norway, um, Denmark, Sweden, uh, maybe, maybe Poland, maybe. I won't be doing that. Then I'm going to see Amsterdam, London as well. Crazy so, stuff, bro. It's going to be pretty cool. On a tour bus, uh, I can't shit for 13 hours. You're not allowed to shit on the tour bus. What? Yeah, I can't shit on the tour bus. But what if you really need to go? You will pull over the driver, but you're not really supposed to shit on the tour Why? bus. Why? I don't know. It's just what Morgo told me. Oh, what happens? I don't know. Is it because it stinks? Probably. Or because it can't go anywhere, maybe the Maybe it can't go anywhere, but you can piss. Right. Which is fine because it's not solid. Right. Um, just don't shit. No showers on the tour bus, so you have to shower at the venue. That's crazy. And I've always got to be ready with a camera, ready to rock and roll just in case Kid Leroy comes. But yeah, I could be meeting Kid Leroy. Could be. I could be. I could be. You could be meeting Tate McRae. I could also be meeting her. I could also meet the guy that... What a ninja got a low tape of fade. Who is that guy? Ooh. Uh, just this guy who sang on the stream and it just blew up because he just sang that little funny bit. Oh. But the whole point is, it's not for me. I'm not going, you know, I don't want to... You're just going there just to going experience what tour life could be like. Yeah, because I've always wanted to go on tour with the podcast, but, you know, it hasn't happened yet. But, you know, maybe one day, please. But, yeah, it's going to be a really cool experience. I literally think it's going to be the best time with my homies and my best mates drinking working you're gonna be pastries. in those you're gonna be in those little like beds are you gonna fit in that i don't know if i'll fit in the tour bed yeah they're literally like you know you see a double decker bus and it's just like bunk beds on the side it'll be that but i went into his tour bus the first time when he went on tour the first time like two years ago mm. and it is big but i'm too tall to walk around i've got to duck the whole way oh, as sure. I walk around. That's peak. but i'll be sitting down so like yeah you know, yeah it's not, it's not in the world. but it's gonna be crazy xbox is gonna be there i'm gonna be playing games on the road mate i'm gonna <laughs> proper feel like a rock star man but i'm with my homies and also it's just cool to support your mate because he's, he's he's doing bits man i think supporting kid Leroy is huge bro he should we should be the way around mate i'm honest with you kid Leroy should be sort sport sound but you know, Maybe one day. I don't make the fucking rules. I don't make the. T I don't make the tour. I don't make the tour. The tour buses remind me of when I used to read One Direction Imagines, because it would be like, imagine you're on Harry Styles. Imagine you're on One Direction's tour bus and Harry Styles is in his bunk and he invites you in and he opens the curtain and you go in and then, you know what happens. So that's what it's gonna be like for me. Bear Scandi girls gonna be knocking on that tour bus. Pretty much they're gonna be rocking that tour bus, you know, trying to topple us over and climb all <laughs> over us. They're gonna be shaking it. And to save humanity and save my friends, I'm gonna have to fuck them all. To calm them all down. You need to calm down. You need to actually calm down right now and actually deep what you're saying. I'm not gonna have Digital <laughs> footprint is real. Deep it. Whether it's a joke or not, you were sat next to your girlfriend joking about fucking Scandinavian girls. <laughs> well, I've got something to tell you, mate. The Scandi girls don't want you. <laughs> and you made that very clear earlier because you went, they're not going to want you. I said, that's a bit rude. Why would, why would they not want me? I'm not going to go for but why would they not want me? Because they're into models. <laughs> yeah, okay, I might not be the best looking geezer out there, but I ain't shabby. We need to be, you need to calm down, mate. 
Sorry, uh, someone had to bring you back down to earth. Yeah, I'm, this is all, it's all funny, fun and games, shits and gigs. One, I'm too nervous to talk to girls. Oh, is that why you're with me then? No, but you messaged me first. And it got the ball rolling. I said that to you. If you didn't message me, I probably would have never known I would have messaged you. And that's fair. I can't, I can't help what happened. And I'm happy it happened. But you've got nothing to worry about. Also, we're working too hard. Yeah. And it's, but it's boys' time. Yeah. It's boys' time. Yeah. No girls can come in the tour bus. Get out. No girls allowed. Yeah. That's, boys only. That should be like written it, on it, the door. It is. It's literally on the side of the bus. Massive. Yeah. Sam Tompkins tour bus. No girls allowed. Yeah. Because if I'm going to check and make sure. And if it's not, I'll get some spray paint. And, you know, <laughs> do what you do, what you need to do. But I'll tell, I'll tell you now, it's on there. I'll tell you now. And you can FaceTime me whenever you want. Mm-hmm. It's just going to be boys, mate. Boys being boys. Well, We've I've all got, got girlfriends I've got, as well. Um, find your phone now. Well, that's what it's on. Ooh, how, how's that going to fucking know I'm sex with a girl or not? <laughs> do some digging. But it's just boys being boys. You know, we've all got girlfriends. You've got nothing to worry about. And I'm I'm very apologetic for my crude jokes. Yes. I'm sorry. I will never have sex with another girl. I know that. Unless we break up, then I will have sex with another I girl. I don't know. You're too nervous. No, I'll fucking pull myself together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anywho, in today's episode, guys, we thought we would help you with your friendship dilemmas because we realize we haven't done one of these in a while and they seem to be your favorite episodes so we asked you guys on instagram to send us in your friendship dilemmas but before we read those out we thought we'd answer you a question and the question is if your best friend hated your boyfriend slash girlfriend would you break up with them it's interesting because i don't know what i would do if all my mates hated you probably wouldn't be with you really because i feel like they, they they're seeing stuff that i'm not seeing because i've got love goggles on i agree you know what I mean? but there there would have to be like proper reasoning though yeah if if you had actually done something yeah and i was like don't that's fine and they're like no that's not fine that's fucked yeah yeah i'd be like hmm you're probably It'd right. It'd make you think. But if he's like, oh no, he's got blonde hair and he's fucking... Yeah. He's just... Oh, I'd be like, nah, nah, He's man. a fucking clap motherfucker. Yeah, I'd be like, come on, man. Yeah, like... That's... Yeah, that that's something that I probably wouldn't. But if mm. they had a, like, legit reasoning, I'd be like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, it would probably make me think, but then what if you love me the way you love me right now? Like... You would still break up with me? No, I wouldn't break up. I don't know. If like... if my all, uh, Yeah, but if all my friends turn on you now, it'd be for a reason. Mm-hmm. They're not just gonna hate you. They love you. If they hate you now, there's a reason. You've done something. Yeah. So, probably would break up with you. Well, let's see what people said, shall we? A lot of people said, no, no. If they're really your best friend, they wouldn't expect you to choose. Facts. Mm, no way. <laughs> so I'm put. All my friends hate my boyfriend. Unfortunately, I'm still with him. And unfortunately. Yeah. All my friends hate my boyfriend, and unfortunately. I'm still with him. Why is that unfortunate? You know, you, you, you know, you wrote that. <laughs> sort it out, man. That's crazy. Probably. I almost took back an ex once, but because my friends didn't like them, I didn't. Facts. Depends. Cheers, mate. That's all they put. <laughs> Depends. Depends on what. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a fucking mind reader. I don't know you. Depends on what. No, at the end of the day, your best friends have entirely different preferences and their opinion should not decide. Facts, bro. You're your own person. I've got one here. All right. My best mate and my girlfriend have hated each other for the full one and a half years we've been together. There is simply no way to get them to find common ground and it's to the point she refuses to be in the same room as him. But he has genuinely never done anything wrong. I feel like I'm going for a parental divorce. I'm scared for the day she makes me choose because I can fully say she won't be the one getting picked. Bros before hoes, mate. That's all I can say. That is bro code. That's bro code. But also, best friends last forever. Yeah, that's true. Women come and go. And and men come and go. Friends come and go too, you know. Not if they're your best friends. What if we're married? Are you still going to say that about me? Point. Do you know what? If anybody gives you an ultimatum, mate, they're fucking bad news anyway. Yeah. If you say it's me or your friends, 
I'd be like, uh, bye. My fucking friends, mate. Yeah. See you later. Unless, unless your friends are being absolutely horrible to me for no reason. Then, of course, I'm going to go, it's me and your friends. Because I can't be around. No, that's fair enough. But also, you couldn't get angry if I picked my friends. Because they're my friends. Yeah, exactly. So, so you get me and my friends. It's an ultimatum in that... It, it's like, you get to... It's not like a... Yeah, I get to choose, but yeah. I probably would choose my friends still. <laughs> right now, yeah. If your friends randomly yeah. started being horrible to me, yeah, but what you reason? would choose your friends. But if they were, had no reason to No be reason. I'd probably talk to them first. What yeah. the fuck are you doing? And they go, nah, I don't know why. I just don't like her. Well, that's fucking weird, mate. Uh, see you later. And I wouldn't be friends with them. But if they had a valid reason to hate you, mm-hmm. and you said, well, it's me or my f- or your friends. I'm like, well, yeah, you did cheat on me and they hate you for that. So yeah, see you later. Yeah, fair. That makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. If, if if me and you, if you cheated on me and me and you reconciled, mm-hmm. but they didn't like you for it and they weren't being nice to you, which they shouldn't have to be because you cheated on them, cheated on me. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, well, it's me and my, your friends. I thought, yeah, I'll go for my friend. They didn't cheat on me. You cheated on me. Yeah. You fucked it. See you later. Yeah, I agree. That makes sense. So, yeah. But right now, at this current moment, if they hated you for no reason, I would be with you and not my friends. Mm-hmm. If that's what you want to hear. <laughs> No, is it not? Is if that, that's what <laughs> I won't do here, what I, the fuck? I, I meant, I meant, did I say the right thing? Yes, you said the right wow, thing. Okay, good. But do you agree with? I what agree. You're I agree. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't like, like, bro. I'm. We're good. I love you, and we're together forever. I bought you a Nando's. Wow. It was a half a date. <laughs> It wasn't a full date. I think you should buy me dinner after that comment. What comment? Just everything you've been saying this whole podcast. It's all for cheek and tongue. (laughs) It's all cheek and tongue. It's all shits and gigs. It's all giggles and shits until someone shits themselves. Oh, I love that quote your mum has in her house. Yeah, she has it in the bathroom. It's all shits and giggles until someone giggles and shits. (laughs) I always go to toilet and I go. (laughs) And you still can't shit? No. Mm -hmm. Just giggles. That was a callback if you didn't know what that was in the comedy world. Oh my god. You hate me. You yeah, actually I do. hate me. I do. You hate me. I do you hate, hate me. you. I do hate you. I do. Well, well, carry on with the episode so you can hurry up and leave me. <laughs> Any should we shake it out? <laughs> Shaking out is good. Get the energy going. Do you want to kiss me? <laughs> no. You want to make love to me? Yeah, I actually fucking in need of some loving. <laughs> make love and... I need some muck fucking. <laughs> yeah, it's uh... been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I can read them out before I cry. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get on to these friendship dilemmas. James, is yeah. your mind clear and ready to give the best advice he possibly can? I'm ready. Get your therapist boots on. I'm Get ready. comfy in the seat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Fucking You're stop good. delaying it, bro. Right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> get her, let her do stand up. Get her a fucking set. That was fucking hilarious. Oh. Uh, <sighs> God, I'm hilarious. Yeah. Anyway. Dilemma one. Me and my best friend have been best friends for 10 years. I'm bi, but I've had a boyfriend for five years. She says she's straight, but has never had a boyfriend. Rewind five years ago, we slept together drunk as a one night stand, but she can't let it go. There has been times since, even when I've been with my boyfriend, that she has tried to kiss and sleep with me again. I don't know how to help her get past this or if I should distance myself. It makes me feel uncomfortable that she holds on to this but at the same time I love her and she's my best friend. I can't tell my boyfriend because I don't want him to hate her but all of my friends notice that she has a thing for me even without knowing what happened five years ago between us. What should I do? Is she dumb? What do you mean? Is she dumb? Why is she dumb? Oh, let me think. She doesn't like how she gets tries to get kissed all the time. They had sex five years ago. She's technically straight, but she's clearly not straight. Yeah. And all she wants to do is fuck you. You've got a boyfriend. Yeah. And you don't even want to tell your boyfriend 
because you know it's going to look bad. So you've got one fucking thing. You either break up with your boyfriend yeah. or you don't be friends with her. Or you out her to all your mates being like, she's trying to do this. We've done this. By the way, boyfriend, she's done this and we've done that. But then, then isn't whew. that letting the girl out of the cl- closet in a way? Well, no, but not like out of, in terms of her sexuality. But like, but also she can't hold that on her. Oh, I'm not outed, so you can't tell anybody what we've done. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, so like, she can't she talk to anybody know? now yeah. because I'm not, I'm not outed. And so I'm going to keep trying to kiss you, but you can't say anything to anybody because then you're out in me. No, that's fucking crazy. But then it might be quite obvious if the if your friends are picking up on that well, and they exactly. don't even so, know what you guys did five years ago. But that's what I'm saying. It must be quite intense. Yeah. Whether she is bi, straight, or gay, it doesn't matter. It's the it's not her sexuality is the issue. It's her trying to get with you whilst you're in a relationship. That's yeah, not what a best friend should respectful. do. That is the only issue here. But also, you guys have been friends for 10 years. Like, that's a lot of friendship. You don't want to just throw down the, the bin, you know? But I would... It's, I've, it is like an automate in there. It's, it's your boyfriend or her. Because it's not fair on him when she's trying to... And like, he doesn't, he's not even... You not even told him the truth. He's or, completely oblivious. Or, all you have to do, yeah, is sit down with yourself and really think, who do I want? sexually do i want the friend or do i want the boyfriend if it's the boyfriend cool and then you tell your friend look i don't fancy you like that i used to but not anymore can we just be friends because if you keep flirting with me i won't be able to be your friend anymore yeah, that's also difficult for the friend because the friend probably doesn't really like her but the friend will get over it hasn't five years yeah but because she needs to be told straight up because she might be yeah. thinking in her head that there's hope because of what they did five years ago yeah. and she knows that they can be like that you know she just needs to be told straight up it's never going to happen and then she'll have time to just be like okay yeah I'll it's all about what it. you want to do but it's unfair on your boyfriend to just be completely oblivious I think the situation would be a lot better if you did tell him what's happened and... but does he need to know but your past is your past it's not the future it's not the present if you've done if you've done what you've done five years ago why should that affect your relationship now yes but then he will but that might make him funny about you being friends with this girl if he but takes it in the way of, oh, so they fancy each other. Or then he might feel scared to, to you guys to like hang out alone. But doesn't, doesn't that just say, speaks volumes in a little bit though? That he doesn't trust you. No, well, one, that. But if he's, if he can sense there's something going on and then he found out that you guys had sex five years ago, he might go, oh, this makes sense now because you guys are really flirtatious or she's really flirtatious with you. Mm. This makes a lot of sense. I don't feel comfortable with that because there's something going on. Yeah, but I think a boy anyway, like if he heard a girl had slept with someone else, yeah, he's going to just immediately think, oh, they might still fancy each other or something. Yeah, but Even that's just a very assumptuous any... thing because a lot of people, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you can have sex with somebody and be their friend and not be anything more. Mm-hmm. But I also can, uh, I can see why you not want to tell him because he might be a bit like, this is weird personally i would try resolve it without telling the boyfriend because i think that's just going to be more stress and if he takes it the wrong way it's just a lot of like but why uh, would he take it the wrong way there's nothing to take he might be like why are you telling me this now like oh do you fancy her does she fancy you now like oh what are you doing when i'm not around no but if you go by the way to let you know such so and so is trying to get with me yeah we did sleep together five years ago before we even together I want to let you know because it's making me feel uncomfortable and I think you should know before But then what if weird. he goes, okay, I don't want you hanging out with her anymore then. Okay, then what happens is... Then she, she has to choose. Yeah, okay, then what happens if so-and-so goes, well, you fucked me five years ago. And he's like, what? Yeah. You did what? Yeah. You 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 guys slept together. You haven't told me. Yeah, but why does he, he no, need to but know that? I feel like she, she could be the type of person who goes... Well, you fucked me, so what do you want me to do? And he's like, oh, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a curveball yeah. that is. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not but saying... it seems like it's a secret, though, so I doubt she would do yeah, that. Yeah, but the secret will come out. Yeah. And if they fall... Why Why are you friends with so-and-so anymore? Ah, we just... Yeah. Well, well that makes no sense, because you guys are great. Mm. So what do you argue about? Nothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's hard. It's difficult. I truly think, no, you should talk to your friend, Isabel's right, talk to the friend and say, look, this is not going to happen. Or if you want it to happen, you have to break up with your boyfriend. You can't do both. It's not fair for either of them or yourself. Yeah, I feel like there's no easy uh, option. 
and this. Like someone's feelings are going to get hurt, but then eventually you will be good. So. Yeah, I think communication is key, and I think that's what's lacking between all three of you, personally. She's not really telling you how she feels. She's not being honest. You're not being honest with your boyfriend, but you don't have to be, but you're also not talking to her properly how you feel, and he's completely oblivious, and he doesn't know what's going on, so he's probably just completely lost. Yeah. So. Well, good luck to you, my friend. Yeah, I've got no advice for that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm 100% sure my best friend has slept with the guy I'm seeing. My best friend told me she was out seeing a guy that she liked and I got a weird, really? I got a really weird feeling about it. So I parked up outside of his house and watched her for two hours. Hold on a minute. Oh, this is some weird Hold on a minute. What? How could you already have this weird feeling? When you know. Anyway, carry on reading. Let's see, it might reveal. I could see two silhouettes in his bedroom and then they both walked out. While I was waiting, she was messaging me, telling me how good the guy she likes and was supposedly with was in bed. I nearly threw up. The the next day, I confronted her about it and she said she 100% wasn't at his house at all. And when I told her I saw her, she said that Josh, the guy she said she was with, had broken down. So Harrison, the guy I was seeing, had picked her up. But why did they go back to his house first of all? And second of all, she said Josh had broken down at 9.30, but I was outside of Harrison's house at 9 and they were already there. That's a mad... Oh, I'm not even being funny here. It's I so think clear. it's obvious what's happened, but I could just be really paranoid. Hmm. 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 Let me think about that one. Yeah, you're being paranoid. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Do you think? No, I don't think. Oh, They're right. fucking shagging. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. But I also think it's very sadistic for someone to be like... Punked outside the house. And... No. Oh, yeah. By the way, texting the person... That the 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 boy their partner being like oh I just had sex with this random boy he was so good yeah knowing it's their boyfriend yeah that's crazy it's that's like, crazy it's like it's like for example me cheating with um with one of my mates best girlfriends and then texting that friend being like yeah like by oh, the way this girl so that I'm seeing is so good in bed oh it's crazy. that it's is crazy. crazy that is crazy but also how did you already know you this weird feeling like yeah and the fact that you weren't like you parked outside that house is kind of nuts i mean fair enough if you really felt that feeling but like something must have happened beforehand that you haven't told us because how did you just get yeah. that gut feeling we're missing you know? the beginning you just gave us the middle and the end yeah so you didn't give us the beginning i do think though that um you should defriend that friend and break up with your boyfriend well, the thing is, she confronted the girl and she said, that's not true. Yeah, so, but that's just bullshit. Yeah, but if that's your friend, like, do you have to just trust? Because you haven't got any proof. If they're up in their bedroom for two hours, <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. That's and then they said that they had sex. Well, no, she wasn't. She was at, at his house the whole time. Yeah, so why would she have sex? Or well, she couldn't get to the other person's house. Yeah. She was at the other guy's house. And what? And what? I'm going to bring my mate... Well, I'm going to pick up this girl yeah. who's a mate, who's my girlfriend's mate, bring him back to my house with this random boy and say, use my room, you can shag. Yeah, a bit weird. It's not, it doesn't sort of work. No. You need to break up with your boyfriend and not be friends with this girl and just move on. It sucks. Yeah. You're losing two people, not just one. Because if you've seen that and you've, and you've got that feeling, then you know deep down what's actually happening. I think it doesn't need to be this whole blow up situation where you are like you slept with my boyfriend yeah, do it, man. Fucking make I think feel like you shit. should just distance no. yourself like no. ghost sort don't of ghost. vibe fucking tell them they're wrong man don't yeah, give them that's just... you know what that's what they want they want you to just fade off into the back and they go now we've got each other and it wasn't even any drama yeah, but what shall we gonna do cause drama between them if you can't have him and you can't have her make them hate each other fucking do it man be toxic they fucking cheated on you and yeah but no 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 you're better no. than no, you're, you're not. Yeah, you're better than that. Fucking cause some problems. What are you going to walk away and be all shy and quiet and hide in the dark whilst they're fucking still? They're happy. You're not. Make them unhappy, bro. Why are you going to be unhappy and they're going to have a great relationship? Fuck them over. Say he's got herpes or some shit. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Like, cause an issue so they can't even be together themselves. That's very true. Because what are you going to do? Fucking walk away and be like, oh, well, at least they're happy and I didn't cause a problem. What the fuck? They fucked you over. Fuck them. Yeah, but. There's no respect in that. No, an eye for an eye, mate. Fuck them up. <laughs> I generally bite his cock. 
bite his bite. fucking cock. <laughs> Break his cock when he's when he's got a boner over the leg, <laughs> even if it's that big with this tiny cock he's got. Tiny schlock. Schlock. <laughs> what? Small cock. <laughs> it's called a chode. Schmock. No chode. 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 Chode is stop, a... look, stop looking at me like that and saying that <laughs> word, bro. That's fucking weird. It's like you possessed, bro. Anyway, that's the advice. <laughs> Fuck him up. Chilled. Bro, move on before I leave this podcast. <laughs> Guys, I think I've just gone really lightheaded. I think I'm overheating in this dressing gown. Ah, well, you would, yeah. The heating's on, for fuck's sake. Is it? Fucking hell, you're trying to kill me. No, you're trying to kill yourself. You've got a dressing <sighs> gown on. For no, I'm in a shorts. I'm in jorts and a t-shirt and I'm doing quite fine. Yeah. You see me shivering. <laughs> And you're in a blanket dressing gown. Yeah, I need to take this fucking blanket off. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Yeah, the blanket will do it. Right, so the advice is cause havoc. Yes. Cause chaos, cause pain. We're not here for... Two awful human beings. We're not here for good advice. We're here for toxic advice. Drive off after you just chopped his dick off. And listen to some Madison Ray. Yeah. Especially just I'm just living that life. You sound like a car that's about to change gear. <laughs> you need to like a. They have five gears, no? Some have six. Fuck, you know, I've never been in one. Well, I wouldn't know because I drive automatic. And so do you. <laughs> Why did you just have to throw me in that? <laughs> well, it's okay, James. You're one of the girls. It's okay. Okay, can we do our job at hand and read more dilemmas out, please? Oh, please. Please. Why did you sound like that? Why are you in this mood? It's going to drive me insane. You're driving me insane. Last year, I got with my boyfriend and I went round my best friend's house about a week into my relationship. I showed her a pic of him and she called him ugly. <laughs> I know the fucking struggle. Like, <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Oh my God. No, no, oh my no, fucking no, God. I'm, I'm getting you. out of here. I'm not talking I'm about leaving. you. I'm leaving. I am leaving. I'm not talking I'm about leaving. you. I'm leaving. No, but no, every girl no, relates to that. It's no. like when you're talking to someone and no. then you think in your head, oh my God, they look way better than the photos on Instagram. Like, why do good looking boys always have the most ugly Instagram photos? Anyway, so then know. when you, your friends ask to see them, you. you're like, here he is, but I promise he looks better. Yeah, I can't tell you. All my Instagram are ugly. Okay, I'm a good looking bloke. But also, you're in the doghouse now. I wasn't talking about Yeah, you. sure you weren't. How many boyfriends have you had? Fucking zero. I'm your first one. Yeah, but so who I've spoken could have been? to people, James. Oh, I bet you have. I bet you have loads of boys. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, she called him ugly, said everything he did was a red flag, like the fact he wore Nike shoes instead of Adidas, etc. She had not even met him. I saw her the same amount as before, but she told everyone he was taking me away from her. And despite being angry at me for getting him to meet my mum before her, she refused to ever meet him or let him come to anything, even if her boyfriend was coming. People told me she was just protective, but I cut her out of my life and lost all my other friends because of this. I now don't really have anyone and she paints me in a bad light to everyone. Do you think she was looking out for me? Or why do you think she acted like this? For context, I am 20, 19 when this happened, so we're not exactly at an immature age. Well, you are an immature age. I hate to break it to you, but you always <laughs> think you are more mature when you're actually not. And yeah. I think I'm mature now, but in three years' time, You'll when my probably frontal think... lobes developed, I'll be like, well, that boy was immature. Yeah. So, yeah, you are young. You're still babies. You can't even drink in America, and that's how fucking young you are, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, now that's out of the way. <laughs> um, I truly think that you did a good thing by distancing and you know yeah. you know it's not up to her whether the boyfriend's ugly or not that shouldn't matter you're the one dating him you're the one exactly, shagging him why yeah. does it matter that's such an immature thing to that's say mad. if you can see your friends happy with this boy and the first thing you say is he's ugly like yeah, it's not you might think respectful. he's ugly but you ain't fucking shagging him yeah, you exactly. ain't kissing him you're not with him doesn't exactly. matter to you but cool, you think he's ugly. The red flag of wearing Nike shoes instead of Adidas shoes. That's just, that's just she just that's picking shallow. Up, she's just picking at straws, mate. She's she's got nothing. 
she just doesn't want she's jealous she's jealous that she doesn't have you as a friend and that your time's been taken away so it should be you should be happy if all my friends when they were single i was well gassed when they got a girlfriend and yes i saw less of them but they're yeah. happy man that's what yeah. friends are for and i will see them and when i see them they'll be even happier like don't get me wrong if so if your friend is used to like getting to see you all the time and now she has to share you with someone else it might take a bit of time for them to get used to it but that's, that's not an excuse weird, man. that's not an excuse for them to try and make excuses of why this guy isn't right for you that's not fair that's something they've got right. to figure out themselves the word sharing is crazy you sh- no one's sharing anyone yeah, have, oh sorry you're sharing i know but when you're That's like fucked. best friends with someone and you see them all the time like it is going to be an adjustment isn't it yeah but suck it up what are you gonna do fucking yeah not exactly have... she the, but no one's doing anything you want to get married yourself yeah, you want to exactly. have a partner yourself what, you, you've but got a boyfriend, a boyfriend exactly. herself, yeah but it's all about communication i just yeah. know what i really do value our friendship even though you have a boyfriend i would like to see you a lot and in, plan that instead of cussing out the poor boy and calling him an calling him ugly what she should have said is i'm really happy you've got a boyfriend but can i just tell you i am feeling a bit scared we're not going to see each other as much because i do really like hanging out with help with you and i like how much time we spend together can we make an effort to yeah. still make time for each other that's all she had to say um, and she, she and the friend it. goes and the friend goes yeah of course i love spending time with you too problem fucking yeah, solved but also she's just, just scared it's not gonna happen but she has to have time to yeah. prove herself that she will do this yeah yeah and it's not fair also, bro got caught in the crossfire, man. He's done nothing <laughs> wrong. He's done nothing wrong. Yeah. And I think that's just a disrespectful. And I think that's well immature. And I think if she's going to turn all your friends on you because of that one thing, it's so dumb. Yeah. And if your boyfriend you makes you happy, that's the most important thing. You don't friends need like people that like that awful, in your life. Awful people, bro. I hate them. I hate people like that. So I think you've done the right thing. Don't even try and become friends with her again because she's just sounds and like if she's trying to turn other people on you those other people need to have their own brain mm. and if they actually know you then they shouldn't be so quick to judge like straight away also you never met he's never she's never met the bloke yeah he could be the nicest guy but he also could be an awful person but how yeah. are you fucking knowing over a exactly. picture it's crazy i think that's crazy um our advice is keep doing what you're doing yeah don't change mate don't try and fight for that friend no fuck that that's that's draining do you want to just be spending every day trying to fucking baby somebody no fuck that and you're 20 now you're at the age where you are eventually like maturing yeah you you are maturing and you don't need that immaturity in your life anymore mate you're getting you're becoming an adult mate you're not Mm. even a teen anymore no do you know what I mean just gotta step up and do some real work (laughs) for off be a real adult yeah next dilemma my best friend became best friends with a girl that used to body shame me. I struggle with an ED and many other girls. She also bullied one of our closest friends. I brought up that I'm uncomfortable and she completely cut me off and tried to fight me at a party. What, uh, what the fuck is going on? I, don't, I generally don't know who these people are. <laughs> I don't know why we need to sit here and talk about this. This is so clear as day that she's a mad <laughs> bitch. That's mad. You don't need friends like that. Like, I don't even need to read that any of that out. Like, that that can stop right there. <laughs> I don't need to hear any more. That is crazy. No, that is crazy. Imagine <clears throat> your best friend uh-huh. becoming best friends with someone who bullied you because you're the way you look and you've got a fucking eating disorder. I know. Whether your friend would know you have an eating disorder as well. Yeah, I don't That's get... That's crazy. I generally don't understand when people are friends with people that are nasty to like... Other people. To, yeah other people or your your best friend like i would never be friends with someone that bullied my best friend i wouldn't be with anybody who, friends with anybody who bullied yeah anyone like, who the yeah fuck exactly you? yeah yeah like, it doesn't matter if my best friend or not you can bully someone like that i know of I'm like, why are you bullying them yeah. you fucking get a great man that just s- says their character well exactly just i don't know what it is i don't know why people do it i really i don't care if they've got a troubled family i don't care <laughs> You're a prick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not an excuse. There's always if someone's a bully, there's a reason for it. I don't. I don't actually give a shit. You should accept that. No. Like, okay, I get it. They might be the way they are because of the way they've been brought up. Blah 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 blah. Like, am I supposed to be okay with that? No, you have a choice to if you're going to be friends with them. Oh, you feel you feel bad for this bully? No, I don't. He's a fucking dick. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. In my head, like I've been bullied before, and what I'm going to do? Fucking go. Oh, you know what, mate. 
carry on, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. Let it out your like, system. Come on, I, I don't have to put up with that. No. Like, and also, it's it's you obviously someone can bully somebody. It's because of things from home or whatever reason. Back in yeah. the day, you make your own decisions. You don't have to bully somebody. But even if like, even if it's not bullying, say if my best friend didn't like this person and she told me why, I would automatically not like that uh, that person. But I don't know if I agree with you on that. Why? Because that's their opinion. They had a problem, but she could be lovely to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but <laughs> everyone needs I to just... form the same same thing you were saying earlier. Someone needs to form their own opinions, have their own brain. Yeah, it's the same thing. But still, yeah. But if that person hesitant. had been horrible to my friend that I'm really close with, but your I friends wouldn't... don't want to paint themselves in a bad light either. Your mm-hmm. friends want to say, "Well, I I'm a fucking dick to her." Yeah, like, yeah. So they're just gonna have one sided. She was a bitch and she did this. But what did you do then? Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It works both ways. What like, what do, do you do? Sarah? So it's just like, I, if I if that happened to me, I'd be like, okay, I'll be hesitant. Uh-huh. But I need to have my own, uh, my, for my own opinion. And if I hate him too, then great. But if I don't, then I'll be like, right, I'll fucking let's sort of shit out. Yeah. Maybe that's 23, nearly 24 in me. I just the don't. The frontal like, lobe like, is. Gen- yeah, it's, it's fucking I, it's throbbing. But like, <laughs> I genuinely, I genuinely, this is one thing I want to say. Like, one thing I want to say is that I think in life, as you get older, drama like that is fucking tiring. Yeah. Like, as you get older, you don't want friends that you have to bitch about and be like, oh, fucking, they did this. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's so it long. It doesn't exist it's, when you get exist. to this age. Well, and shouldn't. if it does, that's yeah. concerning. If it does, you guys are well immature and you need to grow up. Because, yeah. like, you shouldn't be 24, 25, even 22 being like, well, she said this and he said yeah. that. And fuck, fucking, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, no, literally. It's, it's long. But I love life. I've never been this content and happy. I am so good. Yeah. I am very blessed with all my friends. I'm mm-hmm. blessed with you. Blessed with everybody I have in my life. <clears throat> all my friends are great. And we never have drama. No one ever causes an issue. Yeah, but can you imagine, like, at your big age, like, actually... No, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> oh, if, if someone caused drama, I'd be like, bro, what the fuck are we doing? Like, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> and if there is drama, it's not really much, like... It's just, like, let's just, yeah. cut, let's cut it out. Fucking, you're gone. Yeah. Like, I don't have time to, like... Entertain, entertain it. Yeah. Like, it's just fucking long. Agreed. That was universal advice there. That was fucking hell. I'm getting fucking vexed, bro. Jeez. <laughs> I'm getting angry. Because I'm eating. I'm getting hungry. I've been friends with a girl for a good five years. She's always had a bit of a mean side, but recently she's been really horrible. Commenting on my body, being rude and judgy over text, and telling me I'm too sensitive when I bring it up. Recently, her boyfriend stole her phone and messaged me horrible things, and she still thinks I can't take a joke. My issue is, I've paid nearly a grand I can't refund on a concert with her in June. Accommodation, transport and everything. I mentally can't deal with any more disrespect, but also cannot lose so much money. She's not very communicate communicative communicative and tends to shift the blame on me whenever i get upset what do i do lose your money you've just explained it there because you're not you're losing your money either way you can't get that money back yeah are you going to still go to that concert and have an awful time and possibly get more horrible comments thrown at you and be mentally drained or are you going to stay at home and not get any of that and what's worth what's worth it to you a thousand pounds that you could earn back and you can get back or your self-worth mm. because you, why would you want to put yourself in a situation where one you're not happy but two people are going to be mean to you like that's yeah. just crazy like the fact that you would let yourself do that to yourself is nuts yeah like you should be like no i don't need that a thousand pounds isn't worth that. No. I wouldn't even get paid 50 grand for someone just to like sit in a room and just talk shit about me. Yeah. Like, why would I want that? Words do stick. Yeah, it does. But also it's just like the concert was only good when you guys were okay. You wouldn't mm-hmm. go on your own. If you want to go on your own, go on your own. Like just get a new accommodation. You can still go to the concert. Yeah, lose out on that. But you could definitely still go to the concert, but just by yourself, I guess. Or sell your ticket. Like you, yeah, get your sell money your back. ticket. Like, yeah, I know. You probably what's annoying is, yeah, she's pushed me out of going to the concert that I wanted to go to. Mm-hmm. I completely get that, but it's also like showing her, like, you oh, know, fuck you, I don't need you. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. And she's like, what? And she probably won't go. She will be annoyed, and she will try to turn it around on you that you've done something bad. But at the end, at the end of the day, you need to put yourself first and she's put yourself worth first. And I know it's so hard when you have a friend like that because 
you are made to feel like you're the problem here. But just try not forget like all the reasons why you're doing this and don't let whatever she says try talk you out of it because this is just going to keep carrying on, carrying on, carrying on and maybe this is the thing that finally like puts a stop to it all. She just gaslighting you. I'm not only that, it's just like... I don't know, it's, just, it's a bit weird. I, I don't know why someone has to act like that and like saying, like, well, you're just too soft. Well, if you don't like it, yeah. you don't like it. You don't, so, what the fuck? Sometimes with friendships, something big has to happen to finally be able to get out of that friendship. And I think maybe this is it, you saying you're not going to go with her anymore. It might blow up, but that will be like your escape. Yeah, but also you don't need that. You just, you just stop talking to her. I know it sounds so easier said than done, mm-hmm. but like... It is why, easier said than done. Yeah, but why do you need to make a whole big blow up? Because that's just more long. Well, it's for not you. a blow up. It's it, that isn't a blow up, but it will blow up. Yeah, but because you, of yeah, but you only will blow up if you entertain her blow up. Yes, yes. You can say she can she can set you a fat message, and you can just not respond and go okay. Like you don't have to make. When it I huge. Say, yeah, when I say blow up, I mean like you will get a blow up reaction, yeah, but yeah. you don't have to carry that on but i think more of like obviously no one wants to no one wants that no one has to deal with that and it might be scary for you to stand up for yourself and you're scared of the reaction so i think just preparing yourself for she possibly might get really annoyed at that because at the end of the day you've both agreed to go to this concert and it might be out of the blue to her so of course she's going to be annoyed yeah but if if you if she spoke if you spoke to yourself the way she speaks to you you like, what the fuck am I saying to myself? It's horrible. Yeah. Like, why is it because it's someone else? It's okay. Yeah. And why, you know, and like if you, yeah, like I, you know, and it works the other way around. You know, you everyone talks shit about themselves in their own head, but if like you know, Steve said that to me, I'll fucking punch Steve in the face. But you can be just honest. Like it doesn't need to be attacking one another. Like you just have to say what's what you truly feel. Nah. Why? What you do. You say all the worst shit you can to her. No. Yeah. No. And then she goes, "Why are you being rude?" He's like, "Shut up! Just fucking stop being soft, you pussy." And she's like, "What, mate? This is what you do to me, mate. You see how fucking annoying it is." Don't take James's advice. Take my advice. No, be the bigger person. No. Say what you need why to do say. Everyone has to be the bigger person all the time. <laughs> I don't get it. Why? 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 Because it's less energy and. It's funnier though. Possibly, yeah, if you've got that mindset. If you've but got a big set scared- of kahunas on you, <laughs> just go up to her and go, you are the skankiest, dirtiest bitch ever on this planet. And you're so lucky to have your partner, if they have a partner. Or yeah. you're single for a reason, because you stink. <laughs> right? Nobody wants to go near that fucking fishy minge. <laughs> and then she'll sorry, what the fuck you say? Yeah, ha, how's it feel now, bitch? <laughs> and just walk away. It would literally be the biggest I'm her moment of all time. So you have to take my advice or James's advice. It's completely up to you. But my advice is just tell her how you feel and how her words have made you decide that you no longer want to go to the concert with her and leave it at that. You know, no drama, no bullshit to deal with. You just mentally, you're now zen and you're living a zen happy life. Or... You cause you a shit and down make to her yourself. level and do the exact same. Exactly. Fight fire with fire, they say, isn't it? <laughs> what? No, no, I'm, I'm not here for the best advice. I'm just here for some advice. It could be the worst advice. Yes. So, yeah. I said put on your best best advice boots I was and this giving is advice. what you get. You know what? I got sick of trying to make everyone nice. I got sick of being like, be nice, be nice. Because you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> if everyone's a dick and a cunt. Why do I have to be a bloody saint? No, uh, no, you don't. Don't ever think, well, I can't stoop down to that level. Yeah, you fucking can. And you can <laughs> stoop down even lower to the depths of hell. Pull them with you. <laughs> Fuck them up. Don't ever, ever, ever give them the satisfaction that they've just got away lightly. Never, yeah, ever, yeah. ever, ever make a bully feel like they bullied you and you ran away. Fuck that. You beat them up. Uh, we're, not, we're not, we're not, we're not, no, with words, okay. Still. Huh? huh? What did you just say? Nothing. Well, with that being said, I feel like we've done enough advice for one day. We've done some advice. I don't think we've done enough, but we've done some. You want to do more? I'll do one more, yeah. (laughs) I think we've only done like three, haven't we? Next dilemma. 
From year 8 to year 10, I had a crush on my best friend and we would be talking and I'd ask her if she liked me back but all throughout this time she would say she didn't like me that way yet would lead me on. So years go by and we fall out and I get rid of everything of hers but one day I get a text from her and she says she's sorry and misses me. Later saying she liked me back this whole time. I'm still so confused and don't know what to do. No advice for you there, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? You're young. Uh huh. Doesn't mean anything anyway. You're not gonna fucking be together forever, are you? Sorry Plus. to break it to you, but fucking... well, we got together at nineteen. Yeah, not year eight to year ten, mate. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I think I think this is a good. Maybe it's like okay, this has been an experience where you found your sexuality. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know the fucking woman. <laughs> it's not a woman, it's a child. That's that's what we need to be said then. That's fucking that's fucking weird. I'm not giving sexual advice or love relationship to a child. What the yeah. fuck? I think sorry, I'm not getting in trouble with the police. Fuck me. I think you don't want someone that is on and off and on and off with you. You want someone that's gonna go, Yeah, I like you. Like all these This years, is mad, I'm sorry. Leading if you they're on, in year not 10, fair. I'm not giving this advice. <laughs> this is fucked. Isabel, we've got to move on. Sorry, this is, if you really love them and you're fucking... This isn't love. Ten. This is just, this, a year 10 should know about self-respect. No? So I'm telling her she deserves self-respect. You've liked this girl from yeah, but, okay. year 8 to year 10 okay. yeah, and she's been leading years. you on saying she doesn't like you. Now all of a sudden she okay. likes you. How about cool this? Bullshit. How about this? What? The girl... In year eight to year ten, the other girl, the girl that was saying, yeah, leading yeah. her on, fucking is that even a thing in year eight, yeah. right? <laughs> might have not really been comfortable with her sexuality. Yeah, true. Might have been fighting true, it. Because some people do that. Yeah. And then she comes to terms with her sexuality and feels like she, because some people hate the fact they're gay. Yeah. Or hate that, which is so upsetting. Yeah. And they fight it and they fight it and they don't want it. They don't want to be a part of it because they seem as such a yeah, negative thing. Suppress. And they suppress it. But maybe now she feels comfortable with who, who she yeah, is. Yeah, year 10, big she, age. Yeah, she loves herself. And now she goes, you know what? No, I, no, I'm wrong. I want, you know. And you should give her that time. Well, that's what you need to find out then, I guess. But at the end of the day, you've got to focus on your GCSEs, mate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're coming around the corner. <laughs> May. Very quick. Yeah, well, yeah, she's in year 10, or maybe she's not. Maybe she's in year 11. Maybe you're oh, doing shit, them now. Do you know what you should do? We should be fucking revising. I forgot year 11 was a thing. Yeah, you've got to be revising. And when Fuck you're in me, year 11, you're you really you're like feel like you're old. Right I know, it's gross. It's, it's fucking, fucking gross. Crazy. Do you know what, though? I forget how young you are in school. Young I was doing love some mad is, is shit thing. in school. Mate, I've done some crazy shit at school. I was a different person. So was like, I. Ge- no, like, genuinely. It was 10 years ago when I was 14. I was. <laughs> no fucking way. Well, that's how math works, mate. Can you go back to school? God. Wow. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, because it's probably 24. I said, that's 10 years ago. I was 14. You went, no fucking way. And I went, well, that's how math works, mate. Go back to school. <laughs> fucking rude. <laughs> Wait, I was 13 10 years ago. That's what the fuck? How the fuck that's does that make actually sense? Actually nuts. You're no way that 10 years ago, you were 30. Get the fuck out of here. I thought you'd be 15. I was Feral in my teenage years. Yeah, she was getting dick. No, you don't know the half of it, James. I'll tell you. You'd be scared of me if we met. Well, luckily, we didn't go to school no, together. Mate, I was too, too, too good for you back then. Yeah. You didn't deserve me back then. I was no. doing puppeteering. I was spreading the word of God. Yeah, I, I was doing something. But... You were fucking partying with the devil. That's <laughs> what you were doing. Judas, Judas. What are you saying? You're summoning Judas, de- you summoning Judas? Judas? Why is she summoning Judas. the devil, bro? What the fuck? It's a Lady Gaga God, song. God fucking repent, bro. What the fuck are bro, you doing? What did you do on the Easter egg hunt yesterday? I don't know what I said. We all went, woo, Easter, and James goes, fuck you, Jesus. And we all just are stunned. I've literally got it on video. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, you were actually possessed and no, so disrespectful. I just had to. And then at dinner <laughs> yesterday, you fucking said shit about God not being real. I said, that's so rude. And he said, why? And I said, because I believe in God. No, but I don't want to get into why I said. I just think it's a bit... Okay, I will get into what I said because I think it's a valid, valid, valid point. How the fuck 
does a priest <laughs> get a free gaff? Yeah, and bare money. <laughs> they get paid to him via the church, via donations. Yeah, the priest right? had a Rolex on, but anyway. Yeah, we could do whatever he wants with his money. Yeah. But the point of what I'm trying to say is, he get he gets given a house for yeah. free. Yeah, part of the job. Yeah, right. For something that may not be real. <laughs> But a nurse right. or a doctor who genuinely saves lives yeah. gets taxed to fuck, works stupid hours, or doesn't even get paid enough, the nurses. And they are genuinely out here saving lives. The army. You know, the army yeah. actually has like training courses. You can actually get a degree in the army and you get paid pretty well. But you don't get treated well after you leave the army. No, you, you get don't. treated like shit. End up homeless. Yeah, but you, not, you, but you get your leg blown off, and then what? You, you don't do much. They, they help you whilst you're in there. Right. Army. So what I'm trying to say is that war is real. War is there. Death is real. Illness is real. God. I don't know about that, mate. It's all belief, isn't it? You either believe or you yeah, don't. It's belief. Well, I fucking believe in God if you give me a free house. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be rude because I do. Part of me does genuinely believe in God, and I am baptised. Yeah, well, what's I, the priest going to do? Did... Someone's got to do the job. Yeah, but do you have to give him a free house? Well, he's got to work. So does everybody else in the goddamn world. Yeah, but he wouldn't be able to be a, pri- a priest full time. He's got stuff to do, you know. Oh, sorry. What are you saying? He gets paid to be a priest? Yeah. He can yeah. afford a house to rent a house? So oh, why right, do you need right, to get right, right, right. Got you, got you. But the thing is, that's just such an old thing. I think the house just gets passed down to every priest. Like, it just, that's how it goes. It's not like they go on right move and they go, right, so where would you like to no, live? No, they Mr. get priest? designated a house. Like, no, the house is connected the to the church. The house has got a swimming pool. Yes. Do but you know not what I mean? all houses are nice like that. Like, in the other church I used to go to growing up, that house was nowhere near as nice as the one we saw yesterday. I know, but the point I'm trying to say, Guess you they're just not get lucky. technically fucking heroes, are they? They don't save uh, lives. People who turn to good, their lives get saved. That is fine. I, I Like I so told you. they no. save them in different ways. Like people with addiction and stuff, sometimes they'll turn to good and they'll turn their life around. And that is, do you know what? I'm, that's a, I'm not saying that's not a, that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah. But the whole point is, it might not be real. So you're going to give someone all these benefits to preach something that may or may not be real. I might as well talk about fucking AI. It may or may not be real, this picture, because <laughs> it could be AI. Yeah. You're going to give me a free house for that? No. <laughs> You're not. Yeah, but I don't and I, know. And, I, I and know. I'm not trying to be a massive hater, because like I said, I did preach the word of God. I used to do, I used to sing hymns. I used uh-huh. to be in a choir. Uh-huh. I used to go to church. I'm baptized. I used to, used to go after, like, I used to, not even after school curriculum. This is like my own thing. I signed up to be a pilgrim puppeteer. Yeah, I even yeah. did competitions. Like, I feel like I kind of can say this, but it's also like I don't. Even if I did truly, truly believe in God, I still think it's slightly unfair because I know deep down in my heart, God could not be real. He might be real, but he might not. So you're be. not beliefic then? No, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I know that people die of cancer. I know that people go to hospitals and seek medical help. Yeah. And get treated. And these people work mad hours and they don't get appreciated enough. But a priest, I don't, do you know what I mean? I don't. I get what you're saying, but at the end of the day, I think, I don't know how it works. It is what it is. and that's like, what It just it, is what it is. Like, life is unfair at the end of the day. Yeah, but do you agree that he should be getting a house over someone like well, a Well, like of... I said, the houses are connected to the church, so maybe hospitals should have houses connected to them and then the nurses can live in there. I don't know, just something to think about, isn't it? Like, I, like again, it's not like a hate on God. Fucking God made it that way. That's a bit biased, but, yeah. you know, it's what it, if God was like, do you know what, if you're a priest, I'll give you a Rolex and a house. <laughs> Why would God do that? Do you know what I mean? I don't know, for the, rewarding you for believing in him, Yeah, but I guess. does that not seem a bit like if, if, if you, the whole point is that he doesn't, he judges, but he judges everybody, whether you are, a believer or not, mm-hmm. that's the point of Jesus and God. Mm-hmm. Like everybody's equal, basically. Yeah. But then he's now benefiting people that spread the word of God or go to these churches. Yeah, mate. Like, I bro, don't, if I you, don't you I beg, knowledge. if you, if you preach my word, yeah, <laughs> you get a fat gaff. <laughs> you get a Paul and a Rolex, and guess what? You even make a bit of the percentage on the church donations. It's like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> 
Do you know what I'm saying? I say what you're saying. God's gone like, bro, I've got a product here. It's called fucking Christianity. Yeah. And I need some man them out here to spread that word. You get a fucking, you get treated well if you do that. The more sign ups we get, the better. <laughs> Spread the word. <laughs> you know what I mean? I said because James was saying this yesterday. I was like, become a priest then if you're that vexed. Like, no, but, no, but I'm not like I'm not like that vexed. I'm just thinking like, has anybody actually sat down and thought what the fuck is going on it? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? He literally walked past me, and <laughs> I swear to God, the priest walked past me and just for some reason went <laughs> <laughs> and just showed his Rolex off. I was like. That's a nice one as well. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. He was a he was a quite a funny priest as well because he said if he there weren't looked... kids in the service he'd be cussing. Yeah. I swear it's like not good to cuss, yeah, cuss in the, the house of God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and he was basically like making jokes. He's like, why did the fucking chicken cross the road? No, why did the egg cross the road? Because it was it's still on the chicken's butt. <laughs> Happy Easter, fuckers. <laughs> but and also then said. I feel like I'm forgetting some things about this service. I don't know if we've done everything. Oh, oh well. And then he also goes, guys, we've got a spring fair going on uh, on Saturday. I'm not going to be here because I'm on a holiday in Cornwall. So don't do what I do. Do what I say. Attend. <laughs> right, brother, I could do this. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty easy. But, but then we don't not. know what happens behind closed doors. Hey, right? also, they, he, God could be working him to the bone. Like there could be a lot we don't or see. Or bro could be a non-believer and just finesse him so hard. Yeah, but I swear you've got to do exams and stuff to become a priest. You can't just become a priest. What do you mean exams? Fucking God exams. I don't know. <laughs> I like, can study When I had my Holy Bible. Communion, I had to go to Saturday school. And the amount of stuff I had to learn. Yeah, but it's just learning. You don't have to be a believer to learn. You tell me what God's done. I'll fucking... You don't have to say, by the way, here's a test. <laughs> what did God say to you last night? <laughs> oh, you speak to me. You speak to me. Shit. Uh, he said, bless up. Wrong! It'll be like, what did fucking God do and Jesus do on the third day yeah, of Easter? And you'd be like, well, that's let me read back to the fucking textbook. Yeah, the Bible is huge, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you've got. If, yeah, to be fair, if you're not a believer and you've got to become a priest, you've got to know the ins and outs of like the Old Testament, the New Testament. Yeah, and you could hear all the hymns that he knew off by heart. Like, yeah, he knew everything long. off by heart. But would I learn all that off by heart for a free swimming pool house and a Rolex? I probably would. I don't know if you would. I wouldn't. Oh, that was a joke, guys. By the way, don't fucking kill me. But that is. I think. I think I've got to end it here. I didn't want to offend anybody. I'm really, really sorry if I did. I'm not trying to offend. At the end of the day. Just a thought. Yeah. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. You let me know in the comments. But yeah, you you educate. You educate yeah? me, or we do the talking. Maybe I've educated you. Maybe I yeah. made you think. Well, thank you guys for listening and tuning in to this week's episode. Uh, James will be in Norway, and God knows where the fuck next week. Being being respectful. Uh, but we will see you not next week, but the week after. And I'll tell you how tall life went, baby. And if you don't hear from me, it's because we broke up. Oh, I've done some you... mad shit on tour. Yeah. So if you don't have an episode, not this Monday, but the next Monday come in. You know right? why? Not next Monday, the Monday after. You know the fucking schedule. You I know the drill. I tell you. Two weeks from now. If you don't see an episode from two weeks but from now. But let's not manifest that. Let's manifest you meet Kid Leroy and possibly take McRae. And then... And have a blessed time. Have a really good time and make a TikTok that blows up the internet. Well, anyway, we will see you there. Peace, love and Jesus. Bye-bye. Love ya.